Today I want to talk to you about AI, the most effective tool ever designed for gaslighting. Do you know what gaslighting is? It's a phenomenon where somebody else makes you feel like you're crazy by acting as if things that you think are crazy are normal. It was made popular by this film called Gaslight, and it's a well-known psychological phenomenon. It goes back in our culture to the emperor not wearing clothes. In short, if everybody around you reacts a certain way, we pick up on social cues, and then we think that we have to act or behave in the same way. Sometimes what we're witnessing goes against our own judgment, aka we see the emperor is naked and everybody around us believes or acts like the emperor is actually wearing clothes. If you've taken Psychology 101 Cognitive Dissonance, this is a thing that you will be familiar with. So, Here's the deal. Online, when we create content, we hope that people will like it, they'll share it, they'll subscribe, do all of those wonderful things. And we don't like it when people criticize us for our ideas, or worse, our appearance, or the way we look, or any of that kind of stuff. But in the past, you always had this concept that whatever people were saying about you, at least it was a human being who was writing it. Maybe it was just a 12-year-old kid living in his parents' basement, probably, if they're a troll. But at least you had some idea that it was a real person, aka the town square, that that X or Twitter is supposed to be. But these days, the majority of discourse is soon going to be from AI bots. And I don't know if you've noticed on X, which is leaning increasingly to one side of the political spectrum, thanks to its founder, <coughs> I won't say which side that is, but um, seems to be a positive development. You'll notice that people from the other side of the Lord and Chief's viewpoint, anytime they tweet or post something on X, you will see a floodgate of negative, extremely vitriolic response that makes it seem like the entire world hates that other viewpoint. I don't know about you, but sometimes I used to scroll through YouTube comments section or Reddit comments to kind of gauge the temperature. What's the public sentiment about a controversial topic? Well, it turns out increasingly YouTube comments, especially on X, a lot of these comments are not coming from actual real people. The result is you question yourself. You believe that what you're doing is wrong or that the vast majority of people agree. Basically, you're being gaslit by this system en masse at scale, and this has the effect of making you doubt what you know to be true. It makes you doubt your own intellect, and it makes you question what your own senses and brain and logic and reasoning are telling you. Because if you feel this way, but apparently everybody else feels a different way, then your brain starts to either say, well, hey, you're a loser, or maybe you're wrong, or you're an idiot. And that's exactly what makes this kind of tool so harmful. It makes good, intelligent, thoughtful people question their own sanity and their own mental capacity. So my advice to you, don't take any of this at face value. Don't question your mental capacity. Trust your mental capacity. Expect that if somebody disagrees with you, that it may not be a real person at all, and that this is increasingly the case. Turn off comments if you must, turn off likes, but trust your own brain, your heart, and your intellect. Don't let this algorithm, this AI, convince you that you have nothing of value to say. You do have something of value to say. You just need to believe more than ever in yourself in a time where the algorithm is making it harder and harder to trust your instincts.